Hi, it's Zena, Warthog Princess, and welcome to another video. This video will be about calendars or agendas, depending on what you call them, planners. Just as specific to Vera Bradley, uh, my planner, my calendar is my paper brain. So without it these days, I would be completely lost. So that doesn't go away with retirement. Anyway, um, so I just kind of wanted to run through some options because there is an online outlet sale starting tomorrow. Um, also, there's all these holiday sales going on. So if you're interested in any of them, this is the time to get them while they're discounted prices. Um, also, just to be on the lookout for next year, what options they come out with. I have not seen any for 2021 or whatever, but here we go. So the first one I ever bought was this beautiful sycamore leather agenda from Vera Bradley. The unfortunate thing was it did come with a calendar inside, but there was never any replacement packs made for it or sold. So you have this beautiful leather thing that's gonna last a long time, hopefully, and really no way to use it. So I came up with my own way. What I did was I purchased one of the, uh, actually medium, this one is a small, um, but purchased one of these, took the spiral off, punched holes, and put it in here. So I was able to use that. Now, the other thing I'll say about this is, to me, it's backwards. Like this is the front, and then on the back, it has the Vera Bradley thing. I have no idea why they put that on the back. I'm sure there was a reason, but here's what I don't like. I don't care about the logo thing, but my agendas or my planners always zipped from the top to open, and this one's the opposite. And I am such a creature of habit that just annoyed me. So what I did was when I restocked it, I flipped it over. <laughs> so my front has the Vera on it. It's just upside down. I don't care because what I care about <laughs> is the zipper. Yeah, silly little thing, but it works for me. It is a three ring binder, so you can open and close and put whatever calendar. You don't have to use Vera. You could probably find one that fits, but I happen to just like the Vera style. So anyway, inside, um, you can see I've pulled a couple parts from this one. So let me start. This is what I started with. When that agenda ran out, I went to this style, the slightly bigger one, and I did the modification to it. This last year, 2019, I've been using this one, which is the small one. And it's great, it comes with stickers and it's got colorful in-betweens, all the calendars, it's nice. So, that was all well and good. This, rather than doing the modification, I was able to just open this up and just set it inside and zip around it, it was no problem. So that's how I was using that, and then I could just take it out if I wanted it by itself. But in the middle of this year, I discovered a new calendar style that Vera came out with. And this one, let me read the title, it says 13 month booklet planner. And this is in the pattern Petite Garden. Um, this is a little bigger than I typically want to carry around every day, but I really like the layout. So it has the monthly views, which is my preference. So you can see there's an old month. But then in between, it has the weekly thing. So you can write extra notes. Obviously I don't use that page much at all, if ever. So I'm able to use it. Then I got the planner bonus packs, which have these little magnet page markers. And so I use those to mark months like that. So it's easy to find my page in the calendar. It's great. Um, I, it has the stickers. I haven't used these. I've taken all the ones out and I sort of have a set of them now. So that was the next calendar. This is one I am currently using still. But this one goes from July of 19 to July of 2020. So, Kelly, please stop licking my elbow. Come on. She's just annoying sometimes. I don't know. Go away. Good girl. Okay. So, then I came into what am I going to do for next year? This is the only one they've ever offered in this style. So, until and unless they come out with another, I had to come up with another option. So, I came out with the undated planner. And you can see I've already taken the spiral off. This goes back to that medium size that it would originally fit. So small versus a medium, you can see the difference here. So I took the spiral off and I went ahead and put it in here. So now I have my calendar. It's in the book, just like it used to be. And there you go, now I can use my leather thing again. So. The undated ones came out in three patterns. This one's Daisy Dot Paisley, it came out in Lavender Meadow, and it also came out in Pretty Posies, but a white background Pretty Posies version. So I bought several of them so that I now have for years to come 
backfill for my thing. It just takes a little work to reconfigure it. There you go. So that is my paper brain for the moment. I won't show you all the details inside because that's my private life and that's none of your business. But anyway, I hope that that helps see what's out there and maybe give you some ideas of doing your own. Take care. Bye for now.